Automatic Luminescence Immunoassay Analyzer MI600 is developed and produced by Dejong Pushkang Biotechnology Company. It is a chemiluminescent immune analyzer based on centrifugal microfluidic technology. The instrument can complete the whole chemiluminescent detection process by combining with the centrifugal microfluidic disc chip. Reagent items IgG IgM PCT IL-6 BNP NT-Pro-BNP and substrate, etc. The reagents must be stored in the refrigerator at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Next, I will demonstrate the use of the instrument and sample detection. 1. Rewarming Open the power switch on the back of the instrument and enter the user and password in the system login interface. The system will enter the main menu interface after self-check and the instrument will start to rewarm when the temperature of the instrument reaches the predetermined temperature. The incubating temperature at the bottom of the main menu interface will be displayed within the range of 37 plus minus 0.5 degrees Celsius and the cooling temperature will be displayed within the range of 12 degrees Celsius. If the temperature is not within the predetermined temperature range of the instrument, the system will pop up a warning and interrupt the abnormal detection in time. It is recommended to rewarm the instrument to the predetermined temperature for standby use every day. 2. Cleaning After rewarming the instrument, it is necessary to complete the routine maintenance cleaning of the instrument. Rewarming and cleaning can be operated at the same time. Please check and make sure that there is enough cleaning liquid in the cleaning tank and enough space in the waste tank before cleaning. Then click System in the main menu. Click Maintenance. Click Pipeline Filling Cleaning. Click Start and please select Yes when it prompts Start Testing and the instrument will automatically carry out a pipeline filling and cleaning. Routine maintenance requires three cleaning operations to be performed in this method. It is also necessary to do the pipe filling cleaning three times after starting up, before shutting down every day, or after changing the cleaning fluid. 3. Reagent Calibration Do the reagent calibration when the instrument is rewarmed and cleaned. First, input the information of reagent, calibrator, and substrate into the instrument system before loading into the reagent module. Remove the reagent and substrate from the refrigerator. Check and ensure that the reagent is sufficient. Open the cover of the instrument. Click Reagent in the main menu. Select a position for the reagent in the list. Click Scan. Scan the QR code of the reagent. Click Confirm to complete the reagent information entry. Open the reagent hatch and place the reagent in the corresponding position. Click Reagent to check the reagent calibration status just entered. If Passed is displayed, it means that the reagent has been successfully calibrated and the sample can be directly tested. If Failed or None is displayed, it is necessary to calibrate the reagent again. Click Consumables in the main menu. Click Consumables setting. Select the substrate position A or B in the list. Click Scan. Scan the QR code of substrate. Click Confirm to complete the information entry of substrate. Then click Back to the main menu. Click Operation and Sample Channel and select the substrate position consistent with the substrate information input in the substrate position. The instrument will automatically rotate the corresponding substrate position in the reagent module to the loading port. Please put the substrate into the corresponding position. Back to the main menu. Click Setting. Select the position of calibrator in the list and enter the index number. Click Scan. Scan the QR code of calibrator 1 attached to the reagent package and click Confirm to complete the information entry of calibrator 1. Click Back to the main menu. Click Select a calibration channel. 
and select the position consistent with the information input of calibrator 1. The instrument will automatically rotate the corresponding position in the reagent module to the loading port. Please pour the calibrator 1 into the sample cup and put it into the corresponding sample position. In this way, complete the information entry and loading of calibrator 2. And close the reagent hatch cover. Next, open the cover of the reaction area. Point the perforated face of the reaction disc upward. The slot on the edge of the disc should be aligned with the swan on the base of the reaction area. Put the disc in and close the cover of the reaction area. When ready, close the instrument cover. Prompt Start Testing. Please click Yes to start the reagent calibration. In a few minutes, the calibration is completed. Click Reagent to check the reagent calibration status. Then it will show Passed. If failed or none is displayed, recalibration is required before sample testing can be performed. When the reagent calibration is completed, click Operation. Click Select a Calibration Channel. Click the position of Calibrator 1 and Calibrator 2 in the sample location area to take them out. 4. Sample Detection the instrument consists of 12 sample positions, 5 reagent positions, and 2 substrate positions. The samples of serum, plasma, and whole blood can be detected. Click the position of test sample in the sample location area, and put the sample in the corresponding positions of the reagent hatch module. Close the cover of the reagent hatch and instrument. Click Back. Click Setting. Click to the position number consistent with the test sample put. Choose the testing item. Input sample number and position number. And select the test sample type. Click Confirm to complete the sample setting. Back to the previous interface. Click Start. Click Yes when prompt Start Testing. The system enters into the instrument testing interface. At the beginning of sample detection, the sample bit is shown in yellow. When the sample bit is shown in green, the detection is completed. 5. Result Query When the sample detection is completed, click Results in the main menu and enter the query interface. You can view the sample detection results and specific information. Please do not click too fast. When all the tests of the day are completed, please put the reagent used back to the refrigerator for storage with the cover and turn off the power directly. Please check the instructions of instrument and reagent for details or contact us or your distributor. Thank you for using Automatic Luminescence Immunoassay Analyzer MI600, produced by Pushkang. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.